Hello and welcome back to this channel. Today, we'll take a look at top 19 MPLS interview questions and their answers. Whether you're preparing for the CCNP certification or simply want to deepen your knowledge of MPLS, this video is for you. Let's jump right into the video. Question 1. What is MPLS? Answer. MPLS is a routing technique used in telecommunications networks. It's a data forwarding technology that enhances network traffic flow by processing packets based on labels rather than traditional routing table lookups. MPLS uses labels to facilitate high-end network communication between nodes. Question 2. What are the benefits of using MPLS? Answer. MPLS offers numerous advantages, including 1. Multiple degrees of quality of service support. 2. Label-based switching for rapid convergence. 3. Scalable IP VPNs. 4. Effective network traffic engineering. 5. High reliability and trustworthiness. Question 3. What are the MPLS router types? Answer. MPLS routers are categorized into four types. 1. C which stands for customer router. 2. CE which stands for customer edge router. 3. PR which stands for provider router. 4. PE which stands for provider edge router. Question 4. What is the difference between a P and a PE router? Answer. P routers do not contain customer network routes and do not require multi-protocol border gateway protocol. In contrast, PE routers store customer network routes and necessitate multi-protocol border gateway protocol for proper functioning. Question 5. Name the types of labels. Answer. The various types of labels in MPLS include explicit null, implicit null, and aggregate label. Question 6. What are the types of MPLS available? Answer. MPLS comes in three main types. 1. Layer 2 point to point, suitable for companies needing high bandwidth between a few sites. 2. Layer 3 IP VPN, ideal for large multi site enterprises, mergers, and any to any connectivity. 3. Layer 2 VPLS, popular for delivering Ethernet services, combining MPLS and Ethernet. Question 7. What is the difference between VPN and MPLS? Answer. VPN and MPLS serve different purposes. VPNs often use generic routing encapsulation tunnels, while MPLS operates in full mesh form due to root target configurations. Question 8. Can you make your PE router AP? Answer. To convert a provider edge router into a provider router, you must remove BGP configurations, effectively disassociating it from customer networks. Question 9. If your LDP router ID, OSPF router ID, and BGP router ID are different, will it work? Answer. For smooth label operation, the BGP and LDP router IDs should match, especially when labels are used exclusively for loopbacks. However, if labels are generated for every route, there is no issue. Question 10. What protocol is used by MPLS? Answer. MPLS utilizes either the tag distribution protocol or label distribution protocol for label distribution. Question 11. What is penultimate hop popping? Answer. Penultimate hop popping is a technique that reduces label lookups on the egress router, typically performed one hop before reaching the egress router. Question 12. What are the functions performed by MPLS? Answer. MPLS carries out three primary functions, push, adding the label, pop, removing the label, and swap, changing the label. Question 13. What is downstream on demand? Answer. In the downstream on demand method, the downstream router advertises the label to the upstream router, which then binds labels to its downstream router. Question 14. 
What is the difference between VPN v4 and IPv4 address families? Answer. IPv4 is used for customer packets, while VPN v4 is used within the service provider core. They serve different purposes within an MPLS network. Question 15. What is Sysvil? Answer. Sysvil contains a domain's public files, including user data and group policies, and is replicated to all domain controllers in the domain. Question 16. MPLS works on which layer? Answer. MPLS operates between layer 2 and layer 3 of the OSI model. Question 17. What is the difference between RD and RT? RD which stands for root distinguisher is not an extended community, whereas RT which stands for root target is an extended community used in MPLS networks. Question 18. How do you filter MPLS labels? Answer. MPLS labels can be filtered using access control lists, ACLs. Question 19. Two routers have four equal cost links. How many LDP sessions will be established? Answer.